either of you. Okay. okay. I've never seen him pull out Mark before. Uh, this kind of sucks for Ness. Just a little bit. Yeah, this could be a definite counter pick here from Nico. Uh, and he's had a Mark. He played Mark in the ball, I believe, and he had a Mark in Smash 4 as well. So definitely is familiar with the character, with the character can do and cannot do. As far as, I think as far as like this matchup goes for Ness, like he has some really good get off the tools like Nair, I think it's understated as a move, it can kill you, it's pretty quick, it has very little range though. But I think uh, I think Ness isn't completely out, you know, when you put it on paper. Yeah, I mean it the biggest thing is the counter on the up but in this game the directional air dodge, as we see Cat's using right now, does not have to put himself in that position to use that. Wow, speaking of get off me the up -beat. Yeah. yeah, such a good move. You're able to poke through the ledge when you're able to recover with it. It's, it's disgusting no matter whether or not you're playing Lucina or Mark. Very, very quick startup. The Dolphin Slash will always just be a really great recovery tool and just like, just a quick hitbox. Just out of shield. It's just disgusting. It just hits you pretty much any time that you don't want it to. And right now, Nico is getting a lot of these space tipper forward airs. Um, and just gonna get that extra bonus damage with it. Here's come, here comes that Nair you're talking about. Very solid kill move. Yeah, it looks like. Uh, I, I wonder if back throw would have killed there. He, he seemed like he was doubting himself. Yeah, I mean, I, and I know Ness does have setups in the back throw as well. Be fair or up air drag down into the, the back throw. Oh, there's the, the pivot boost. Oh, oh yeah, nice. Thanks. That was a nice little Nair. Yeah, getting himself back onto the stage and getting him, uh, getting him into the neutral once more. There's the fair. Okay, really good platform pressure. Cats continuing to juggle with the up B. Yeah, I like it was able to chase while not even really being there. Like, I like when you're able to occupy space without even being there, you know? Oh, yeah. That's good stuff. But that looks a little too low for me. Ooh, that was a tech chase or a tech zone situation. He didn't point tech. Yeah, I mean, I, that move's not too strong, like, towards the ending, like, not the base of the hitbox on the dolphin slash there. So he looked like he was able to tech. Yeah, I think so. I think he was. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, you got to watch out. What These low percentage, you can definitely get Ness. Oh, Dolphin Slash right up and over. Get over all those hitboxes. You know, Cax looks kind of comfortable off stage. Like, he was going really deep, and that, uh, that air dodge really helped Ness. I think his recovery got a little bit better just because of that. But speaking of recovery, uh, yeah, not quite this time. Yep, just like that. The double jump gets sniped out from the sword. The back air from Nico going to secure that edge guard there, and... At that point, after that double jump, Ness just couldn't get back to the stage. Yeah, yeah, the second you get your double jump sniped like that, uh, he's got a really, well, I don't want to say it's a good double jump, but it goes really high. It goes really high, but... Yeah, it's not, it's it's like one of those slower double jumps, has a little bit of, like, quote-unquote startup, and then he, like, yank. It The distance is really good. Yeah, the distance is great, but... Uh, but not the quickest, for sure. The floatiness doesn't help. Oh, yeah, okay. We, uh, Nico's got a Kirby, too. He likes to play around with this character. I'm really interested in Kirby. Uh, I'm always inclined to say, oh, this character's not very good. But, you know, I've seen some stuff. I've seen, like, drag down forward air. I've seen what you can do with, like, the cross up with down air. Right. There's things that Kirby's got, but... Um, Kirby's got some stuff. The range is lacking. Like every character in this game, they've got some stuff. They've got some stuff. But is it enough stuff? Yeah, that, that's always the big question. And, you know what? I mean, by, I feel like by default everyone just says Kirby's bad. Um, I honestly have never fought a Kirby that dedicates their life to this character. But, I mean, who knows? Maybe the character is pretty pretty solid. But just from what I've seen in tournament results, like it's just hard to justify this character. Yeah, if you go online, you just see people trying to do those old 1999 tactics. I'm going to suck you off, and then I'm going to throw you off stage. Like, okay, that hasn't worked since I was 10. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> right now, going hit for hit. Nico, and I mean, one thing Kirby does have is those multiple jumps. Oh, man. Ooh, nice going to use those multiple jumps to secure that back air there. Oh, but that <laughs> something that Kirby doesn't have is weight. Yeah, that or uh, the range that Ness has, and I think that's kind of where Ness is able to pull this one out, and just on paper. Oh yeah, but here's the grab combos coming out, and you know, Kirby does have those very solid like 0 to 50s off up tilt or off of those grab confirms, so definitely has a combo game. Even in Smash 4, Kirby had a very solid combo game. Yeah, one of the few characters that gets serious like combos off of forward throw. Forward throw is kind of like the bread and butter throw, especially at really low percentages. And is Ness going to be able to make he it back? Bounce. Yeah. Oh, he bounced the wrong way, though. That was so close. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
It, and then I feel like if he started the second up B like a little sooner, he would have been a little bit closer. But yeah, he, he could have made it back because of the wall. I think so too. I think so too. In wall stages, uh, we don't have enough of those because it really helps certain characters, especially a character like Ness or Lucas. Oh, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because in SoCal, we don't uh, have the Yoshi now, right? No. Yeah. Backdoor might. Okay. I, I, I low key thought Backdoor was going to kill. Wow. Yes. That's going hard off stage. But that directional air dodge again makes it so Ness can be a little bit more aggressive off stage because before, if you went aggressive off stage and you had to up B, then you're in a really bad spot. But that directional air dodge just makes him bang he's back on stage. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's a really big help to a lot of different characters. Yoshi. That's definitely one of them. Oh, yeah. Aggressive recovery coming off from Cats. Here's the PK flash. Not going to quite catch Nico, but that bad. Like, Kirby has a good recovery in terms of like actual distance, but the up B is like, not that great. Because it doesn't snap the ledge on the way up, you're able to intercept it most of the time. Kind of like Ike's. Yeah, and they slightly buffed it too. So you no excuse anymore. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait. All right. For some reason, I was like, are you dead? But he was at one. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was at 144. He was like, oh, it's super. Oh, the closest PK fire you ever did see. Yeah, and right there, if uh, if Cats landed that tipper bat, that was lights out for Nico's Kirby here. But oh man, it's looking pretty uh, pretty nuts right now because oh, that up air is probably gonna kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With that full rage too, that that move is pretty strong. Very strong. You know, at first I was really missing the noggin. I really missed that before, but I think it's so much better now. I think it's so much better. Having a multi hit seems to be a really big deal now, uh, since the way that. Uh, just the way that you can't really, you, you can't really air dodge more than once. You can't, and you also have parries as well. So being able to have multi hits is just really nice in this game. I'm sorry. Yeah, it, it's definitely a pros and con thing. Uh, you know, Smash Four up there, the noggin had a lot of range and power, but um, in this game you have the multi hit, so you can also set up like drag down and a grab in the back row and stuff like that. So it, it definitely has a lot more utility in this game. Big time. Okay, all right, starting it off, we're going to switch right back to the Marth here. Kirby not working out so well. He had a really good lead, but Cash just did a really good job of just, you know, calm down, didn't get hit as much, kept Kirby in that disadvantage state, and nailed that solid hit with the Rage and killed Nico at like 80%. Yeah, that was by a nose hair. And now Kalos has a really high ceiling, too, so that really is a testament to how strong that up air is. Yeah, let's see. Okay, not quite getting the head drag. Yeah, no, not going for the counter there. Nico just opting to take the ledge trap. Always the uh, the safer option, and you can't usually like go wrong with it. Yeah, and counter is a really interesting idea too, because it's like if you are too close to Ness when you do the counter, it's just gonna fail, and he's gonna go right past you. But if you're able to get the later hit on to the PK counter, it's over. Mm -hmm. And just like that, the the boosted tilt, or uh, what, what's the term for it? Oh, the 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 dash cancel or the. The, uh, the pivot, pivot cancel. cancel, there you yeah. go. Pivot cancel tilt. Yeah, I forgot for a second. But, oh, the up smash. Oh, going to get out of there, but can he make it back? Mm. I, I heard they did something to Ness's yo-yo. Like, they, they made it a little bit worse in the in the recent I, patch. I believe the re-hit rate is not as often. Or they did something with, like, the re-hit or something like that. The hit uh, rate. I'm just saying, but, you know, you st you're still going to see Ness do it. And it's still something you got to be Dude, worried I, about. I still see it, like, work the same way it worked before. I don't know how much they changed it by. Probably the same they changed Wolf Down Smash by, like, a very, very minuscule change. You like 5%? Saying? No, I, Wolf Down Smash was 3%. What? Yeah, oh it's, like, very not that much. So now I died 63 instead of 60. Oh, right. Oh, boy. Right, right. That's yeah. terrible. <laughs> Crazy nerf, man. Oh. Man, just like that, Katz is already at 123% here. Nico nailing all of these tippers. And that's the one thing, you know, comparing Marth to Lucina, is if you're able to get a lot of these tipper hitboxes, definitely worth And that Nutra is going to seal it out here for Nico. Yeah, the modifier for those tippers are crazy. I think it's one of the strongest tippers in the game. Like, uh, as a Corrin player, I know it doesn't compare. It just doesn't compare. Wow. And I know it, it, it's a little strict. I'm not sure, like, how strict it is. Wow, he really like just did not get hit by that <laughs> that he looked like he was getting gonna you know what i mean it was so close it went all the way around there he just didn't get hit yeah confidence oh damn uh, <laughs> talk about confidence that these forward smashes though <laughs> oh and i like the down b's too like I, i'm starting to see down b being utilized a lot more than in four like people try to like swag you out with it but like people are really actually using it now because it has a hitbox it's yeah really good. Man, Nico trying to catch this juggle. The back air barely surviving. Can he avoid that PK Thunder? Wow, up and over everything. There's direction of air dodge. I don't think he has a double jump. Right. Cass is pretty good at mixing things up, both when he's recovering and catching other people's recovery. Oh, the up B. That up B is so powerful. Yeah. Having so that startup. 
Uh, how many times has he gotten out of those PK fire situations and Cats thought he had a follow up? You know what I mean? Like, you went from winning neutral to, like, I'm off stage, dang it. You know what I mean? Like, those situations always suck. Be maybe because you, like, don't know or you're inexperienced in a situation. Oh, see, now he's just shooting the PK fire. Yeah, yeah we go. now he's waiting it out. Good yeah. stuff from Cats. I like the adaptivity <gasps> that I'm seeing. Adaptation. Okay, off stage situation here. This is game three. No game five situation here. So, uh, yeah, last thought. Nico's got to clutch this out. With that pivot cancel we were talking about earlier. Oh, he told his jump. Yeah. He had to have taken his jump. Yeah, yeah. Wow, but you know what? Good stuff to Cats. Yeah, that was really good showing from the nest there. Very impressive. And we even saw, you know, Cats was.